you think about the amount of effort that we're taking to take an accurate centric relation bite record to get accurate impressions, uh, now as we move to the articulator to mount the models, it's going to be super important that we not lose our accuracy through poor mounting technique. So we want to talk to you about how to work with the mounting stone and the sequencing of mounting models so that you have the accuracy that you need. Now that we have accurate impressions in casts, and an accurate centric relation bite record, and an accurate ear bow transfer, we're ready to prepare the articulator for the mounting procedure. First we'll want to remove the guide table and exchange that out for the articulator index, putting that securely into place locking that down. The next thing we'll do is add the maxillary cast support. That's a magnetic attachment that will help support our bow transfer. So we'll go ahead and put in the bite fork, attach that to the index, snug that up, raise the maxillary cast support, and tighten up that set screw. Next thing we'll want to take the maxillary cast to make sure that it fits accurately in our bite fork and we're ready to go. So we prepare the stone, we're going to want to go ahead and not only put a notch uh, in the base of the maxillary cast but also wet that stone again so there'll be better adherence. One extremely helpful aid today is the fact that we have prepackaged stone so that we are accurate in our expansion and the setting of the stone. So here we're going to use our packaged 100 grams of stone and we're going to mix that with 26 milliliters of water all in the directions mix that water with the stone. We will be hand mixing this. We have a mixing time of 30 to 45 seconds once those are combined. And we have a total working time of two to three minutes. total setting time for this stone will be around five minutes. This is an important step, one that we cannot overemphasize the importance of the accuracy of this because if the stone mixture is uh, a poor set then we're going to have and we do find tremendous inaccuracies in the mountings. Go ahead and add the stone to the wet and cast, filling in the undercuts there. We'll go ahead and put the magnetic plate on the maxillary and flow that in so it locks in. You'll want to observe uh, before you add the stone how much space there is between the, uh, the maxillary cast and the base. So you'll see how much you need to build that up. And we'll go ahead and close that right on down to contact on the articulator index. If you have extra stone, you can go ahead and fill in around the sides. If you're going to have some gaps there, then we'll go ahead and wait until we mount the lower to fill in some of the extra void areas and make the cast uh, look, look acceptable for presentation. 
we'll go ahead and allow that the five minutes for set time before we proceed to mount the lower cast. Now that we've completed mounting the maxillary cast, we're ready to disassemble and mount the lower. One note as we disassemble this is as we look at the articulator index, it has a sliding pad. We'll just take this apart and that sliding pad needs to be positioned to the left in order for the pin to be properly oriented. So make sure that you keep that position to the left on the articulator as we're looking forward uh, in order to have that work out just right. So we'll take this apart, we'll disassemble and prepare to mount the lower. Now, we'll go ahead and put the anterior guide table back in position. And we're ready to check the cast together. Now one issue that comes up frequently for us is how open are we going to make the vertical when we mount these models with the bite record in place? How do we make that decision? So here's an easy way to do that is to take the lower cast and the lower cast and put it together by hand and go ahead and mark between the upper and lower any arbitrary point one mark on the maxillary one point on the mandibular and then measure that. We'll see what that measurement is. Then we'll go ahead then we'll go ahead and put the wax record between the two casts, again just by hand, putting that record in place, and now we're going to go ahead and measure again that distance between those two points. That distance in this case is about four millimeters greater than it was without the bite record in place. So we're going to go ahead and open the pin from zero to what would be plus four. Now on this articulator each notch on the pin is about a millimeter and a half. So we'll go ahead and open it a little over two, between two and three millimeters. This is arbitrary. But the point is, is that you want the pin to come out to about reading zero when we're finally mounted with the bite record out. And so that'll help us to open now that pin just a little bit more to accommodate for the wax bite. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to go ahead with the wax record between the two casts. We'll just separate the casts off the articulator. At this point, it's a good idea to evaluate your wax record to make sure that you have accuracy uh, in having tooth wax tooth, or in this case stone wax stone. There are no gaps, no voids, no rocks. It's not hanging up. You don't have soft tissue impingement, meaning on the stone. And so as long as that is fitting together accurately, we're ready to proceed. Next what we're going to do is we're going to loot together the upper and lower casts. In this case, we're going to use nails and a glue gun. So we'll go ahead and glue the upper and lower together. Like so. We'll rotate that around and do it in a second point. important that we use a rigid material uh, that will not be influenced by the setting of the stone or that has flexibility or give to it. And so that's why we like to use metal in this case for looting these together. And we're going to go ahead and do that in three separate locations. Now that the upper and lower casts have been joined together, uh, we have soaked the lower cast with a little water to moisten 
and prepare the surface and we're ready to go ahead and add our stone. Again, we'll mix our prepackaged stone, 26 milliliters of water to 100 grams of powder. We can't emphasize enough how important it is to have this ac accurate ratio. Mount it up in the center of the mounting plate. Flow it into the undercuts there. And we'll go ahead and make a column. Where we'll join those together as we close it down. Again, the total setting time with this stone is five minutes. Go ahead and close that down until the pin touches.